Ramayana. Ramayana is one of the great epics of ancient India. Other one is Mahabharata. An epic is a long poem describing the adventures and pastimes of the Supreme Lord. Sage Valmiki originally composed 24,000 couplets known as Valmiki Ramayan. Lord Rama is one of the important incarnations of the Supreme Lord. Ramayan is divided into seven sections or khandas, each describing the different stages of the story. For today's episode, we are going to be reading Balakand, Ram's birth and early life. King Dasharat ruled Ayodhya righteously, and everyone was happy. However, he himself was sad, because in spite of having three virtuous queens, he did not have children to continue his dynasty. Sage Rishi Asringa performed the Putra Kamishti sacrifice to beget children for King Dasharat. At the end of the sacrifice, the divine personality came out of the sacrificial fire. He handed out a golden pot of sweet rice to the king and instructed the king to distribute the prasad among his queens. As instructed, the three queens took the prasad given to them. At the appropriate time, Queen Kausalya, the eldest queen of Dasharath, gave birth to Rama. Queen Kekai, the third and most beloved queen of the king, gave birth to Bharat. Queen Sumitra, the second queen, gave birth to twins named Lakshman and Shastrugan. All the four boys grew up together, exhibiting great qualities. Under the tutorship of sage Vajinta, they mastered all the arts and scriptures and acquired military and administrative skills. One day, Brahma Vishri Sumitra came to Ayodhya. He was trying to perform a fire sacrifice in the wood for the good of mankind, but was always disturbed by the demons Maricha and Shabahu. Sage Vimishra knew that only Rama could slay them. Vishwamitra Muni approached King Dasharat and requested him to send Rama with him. King Dasharath could not bear the separation of Rama. However, on the advice of sage Vasistha, the king finally consented and sent Lakshman also along with Ram. On their journey to the forest, Vishwamitra Maheshri taught Rama and Lakshman, Bala and Atiba, two mantras which could free one from the influence of fatigue and old age. Vishwamitra told them the history of many places, heroes, and sages. On the way to Vishwamitra's ashram, they had to cross a gory forest which was occupied by Tataka Rakjasi. As ordered by Vishwamitra, Rama cast a sharp arrow and killed her. They reached Maheshwari's hermitage. Vishwamitra began the sacrifice. Subahu and Maricha came to defile the sacrifice. Rama and Lakshman killed Subahu. Rama shot an arrow at Maricha, which threw him 800 miles away into the ocean. Vishwamitra Maharishi then decided to take Rama and Lakshman with him to Mithila. On the way to Mithila, Ahala, the wife of Gautama Muni, who was cursed by her husband to become a stone, regained her original form by the touch of Rama's lotus feet. When they reached Mithala, King Janaka greeted and welcomed sage Vishwamitra. He narrated the greatness of Lord Shiva's bow. He told him of a decision to get his beautiful daughter Sita Devi married only the person who could string this heavy seva dandas. Once, as a child, Sita Devi had lifted the bow at ease to fetch a ball while playing. The same bow took many great soldiers to move it to the Swamahar Hall. After all the assembled princes failed to even raise the bow, sage Vishwamitra commanded Rama to try to hand at it. 
Just like a baby elephant breaks his sugar cane stick, the young and strong Rama easily lifted up the bow. As he bent the bow down to string it, it broke in two pieces, making a tumultuous sound. Sita Devi garlanded Rama. King Janaka was very happy that he gave his daughter Sita Devi in marriage to Rama. The wedded couple, along with Maharishi and Lakshman, returned to Ayodhya.